welcome to this week's Bloom Box Co Box. We've got a great box coming to your front door this week full of beautiful seasonal Australian grown flowers. Let's take a closer look at the varieties. We've got the Easter Daisy. Obviously this week on the cusp of it being Easter this weekend, we've got the gorgeous little Easter Daisy. They're so cute. We've got the chrysanthemums, which are in a gorgeous, rusty, orangey tone. We've got the billy buttons, which are a cute little dynamic little pom-pom flower that are going to add some little pops of fireworks to your arrangements. We've got a dried element in this week's box, which is the really textural and quite interesting to work with, wheat. So that'll be a really nice dried element to incorporate into your box this week. And we've got the beautiful Banksias, which are our feature flower this week. Fantastic long stems with prehistoric looking zigzag leaves and quite soft to touch, little spiky flowers that go up each um, each of the stems. It's gonna look fantastic. Let's do some arranging together. So let's put this week's arrangement together. We are starting to work with our Bloombox Co signature vase, which is our 20 centimeter by 15 centimeter vase, which is a great size vase to have in your collection. It'll suit most all stems of flowers. We are going to start and create a base so all good arrangements and all architectural formations need a good base to basically support the flowers as you're working with them. This Easter Daisy is a little bit high challenge. It's quite short. So what you need to do is basically just pull back any of the little flowers that are going to fall below the stem of the water level. Just clean them off because Easter Daisy being a field flower does tend to age quite quickly or go off or sort of not go off, yeah, not have the best longevity compared to the other blooms that we're working with today. So you just wanna go through and remove any of the little black foliage pieces off the stem by just plucking them with your fingers, giving them a quick clean and then crisscrossing the stems as you enter them into the water. Oh, here's a beautiful big piece. Just cleaning the stems nice and clean. Just gently pulling the foliage down and in to the water it goes. At this stage, if you've got one piece that wants to go one way and, and some other pieces that want to go a little bit higher, don't worry, because you've crisscrossed the stems, you're able to manipulate or move those stems as you uh, put the other varieties amongst. So now we've got a really cute little foliage base of these beautiful little Easter daisies. What you're going to do now is work with the chrysanthemums, which are another one of those beautiful flowers that as you can see, have multiple flowers on each of the stems. So these are a great flower to, to work with because they're really going to add volume and just, and, uh, just fullness to an arrangement. So we're just gonna give the stem a quick trim, remove any of the leaves that are going to be in that lower level, and then place them amongst the Easter Daisy. And continue that to the other stems. Differing your heights a little bit on each of the stems will add a dynamic kind of feel to your arrangement. It adds a point of interest and it'll invite people who are looking at your flowers or especially where you position them amongst the house, just a, a point of interest. Before we put our cute little dried and I suppose the little fireworks that I'm gonna call them this week, we're going to work with the feature flower, which is this amazing Banksia Pucareria. It's just sensational. So not much really needs to be done to him unless um, you want to remove the foliage, but a quick trim on the stems 
And then I'm just going to nestle this one just on the side there. I'll turn it around so you can see. See how it's just going to flare and group with that beautiful stem of the chrysanthemum. You can see I've got differing heights sort of in my layering of a, like a rainforest, foliage, banksia, chrysanthemums. It's sort of all having that really nice organic layered effect, which creates a really lovely display. We're now going to work with the wheat. Now, if some of you haven't worked with dried elements before, they can be quite delicate. So what you want to do is work with a few stems at the same time. So I've got about three stems that I've put together here. Just want to reduce the length a little bit, remove any of the husks or the foliage, those outer bits, and enter them into the vase amongst the other flowers at the same time. The beauty of doing multiple stems at the same time is you give those fragile stems that are easy to bend and break a little bit more strength and that way then you're not likely to snap them as you're putting them amongst the other flowers. And finally this week, we have the Billy Buttons, which are the most gorgeous little bright yellow pom-poms on little sticks. They wiggle around, they're very cute. These guys are going to be the little in the top canopy. So just a little quick trim, not much, because I want them to be sort of the tallest element to our arrangement. And just give them a little twist, the stem a twist as you're encouraging them to go through the blooms. And yeah, just like that. And there you have it. That's this week's Easter creation. Have a fantastic week and yeah, happy Easter. See you later, bye.